Hello, my friends out in YouTube land. Two Gun Terry here. We're out at the beautiful OK Corral in Okeechobee, Florida. And today, I'm going to take you through speed option. Are you ready? Now, unfortunately, the sun is setting right into the camera, uh, so it's going to be a little difficult to shoot and a little difficult, difficult to videotape. So we'll have to see what it looks like when we get uh, into the studio and edit up the film for you. But uh, you're gonna, there's not much you need to really know about this stage, but the few things that will help you, I'm going to go over right now. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be shooting my Franken rifle. It's my uh, the PMACA aluminum chassis, kid receiver, kid bolt, bolt quartz and trigger, bolt quartz and barrel, and tandem cross comp, smoke composite buttstock, and the old trusty Seymour 12 MOA railway red dot sight on top. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stage first. As you can see, if the camera's not getting washed out here. So first things first, let me give you a tour of the stage. Speed option is a pretty wide stage, and it's a pretty deep stage. It actually has a 35-yard target all the way in the back there, and it happens to be the stop plate. Um, the shooting order here, the plates are still labeled from the left to right, one, stop, three, four, five. But this is the only stage where I personally and many shooters start on the right side of the stage. We actually start shooting plate number five, and I'll explain why to you. When you shoot plate number five first, your first shot is on plate number five. You shoot number five first into number four, out to number three, which is the, I think it's at 18 or 20 yards, and then all the way over here to number one, and then shoot out to the stop plate, which in this place would be plate number two, but we just call it the stop plate, which is an 18 by 24 at 35 yards. So you come back from left to right because the stop plate's on the right, all the way in the back. Why would you start here on the right-hand side and go one, three, four, five, and then swing from five all the way to the stop plate way out there at 35 yards? Trust me, I used to shoot it that way when I first started. It didn't work out so well. Somebody said, Terry, why don't you start over here on the right side? I did that, and I've been shooting it that way ever since. So, first thing you want to do is shoot five and four as fast as you can, almost at the same time. Bang, 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 bang. When you, when you start in the starter's box, you're gonna come up on plate number five. So the first thing you gotta make sure you do is hit plate number five. Once you hit plate number five, you wanna swing right over to plate number four. And those two shots, what I'm trying to get at, should be very quickly done. Bang, bang. Because when you come from plate number five to plate number four, plate number four is maybe 10 yards out in front of you. Uh, and it's, it's like a 12-inch plate, 10, 10 yards out. It's an easy, easy shot is what I'm getting at. So you take the tougher shot, plate number five first, and swing right into plate number four as fast as you can. Now you're swinging around to plate number three. That's the toughest shot on the stage. That's what we call the trap plate. Number three is uh, probably, again, 18 or 20 yards out. It's a 12-inch plate, uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, but because it's a little further out, it tends to trip people up. People miss it a lot, but not you and not me. So we're going to go five, four, three. You shoot at three, and then you immediately move over to number one, which is this plate all the way to the far left. The reason that you said to do it that way, you shoot at number three and immediately move to number one. Whether you hit it or miss number three is irrelevant. Better if you hit it, of course, but if you miss it, it, you're not going to stop and fiddle around with plate number three. You're going to go to number one anyway, and then you shoot number three on the way back out to the stop plate. You understand what I'm saying? So the first major tip is shoot five and four as if they're uh, right next to each other, as fast as you can shoot them. Shoot at number three, and, you know, slow down. Make sure you hit that plate if you can, and then come over to number one. But if you miss number three, go to number one anyway, and then shoot number three on your way back out to the stop plate. The next huge piece of advice I can give you is people tend to 
shoot at the stop plate back there, 35 yards. It takes a few. It takes a moment to get it, the bullet to get out there and hit it. But what people will do is they'll take that shot and then drop their gun. The worst thing you can do on any of these stages is drop your gun after you shoot the stop plate. You must keep the gun up. Fire the shot. Don't be cocky and put the gun down like, yeah, I know I hit it. Um, that's a good attitude to have, but say, yeah, I know I hit it and keep the gun up anyway. That's my advice to you. You keep the gun up because just in case you did miss it, then you just fire again. The gun's already up. It's already on target. You just fire again. Instead of you drop the gun because you're cocky and you think you hit it. Oh, my goodness, I didn't hit it. Bring it back up again and then fire. So those are the three most important tips I can give you on. I guess it's four tips because I'm telling you to start from the, from, the, from the right side of the stage. So other than that, speed option is really relatively straightforward. It's not an easy stage because it's so wide and then again so deep. Uh, but it's a fun stage. Some of the better shooters have a good time with this stage. I would say uh, Grandmaster speeds are probably somewhere around two second, 225, something like that. Um, anything under 250 is good. Anything under 275 is good, really. Uh, but if you, the closer you can get down to two seconds, the better. Let me go ahead and load up and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I'm going to shoot this. Uh, with the camera behind me so you can just see what it looks like from the shooter's perspective sort of you're behind me and to the to the right a little bit again i'm going to shoot five four three one stop hopefully we hit them all i like to stand in the shooter's box for this particular stage i like to stand all the way to the left uh it keeps me closer to the third plate and the first plate and the stop plate and these two are going to bang bang and then swing over so i want to be ready to i want my body lined up in this area more so than that side all right here we go my uh my dot is dying on me but we'll do the best we can here. okay bang 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 okay starting with the rifle down at the stop at the start sign in low ready position I'll go out to the fifth plate my first shot, and then I just lower the gun, but I keep my eyes on the plate. Here we go. Are you ready? Stand by. Beep. Just like that. Now I'll move the camera around to the front, let you see what it looks like from the shooter's perspective. Looking at the shooter. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead, like I was saying, shoot from with the camera in front of me. I'm going to shoot over the top of the camera so I... Don't have to worry about hitting it. Uh, put your ears on. Make sure your sight is turned on. Grab your magazine, preferably a full one. Make sure it's full if you have a clear magazine. Check to make sure you have a full mag, not a partially full mag, and then think that you have a full mag. That can cause uh, problems for you also in a match. All right, same order, five, four, three, one, stop but with me facing you now. If I look extra handsome at this angle, thank you for thinking so, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's a new year, you never know. All right, here we go. There we go, just like that. And that's what it kind of looks like, smooth. Hopefully the rifle is moving nice and smoothly. Don't jerk to target to target and force it and think you're gonna get there quicker, it doesn't work. My, my good friend Stevie P, three-time grandmaster, said hello in one of the videos here. You've seen him early on. He's the one that told me, go nice and smooth, and he's absolutely right. Once you smooth things out, the dot's not bouncing anymore. You're not overshooting your mark when you're trying to hit your target going too far. Just nice and smooth. Just like that. All right, that wraps it up for our speed option. It's not a real difficult stage. Well... Difficulty level on a scale from 1 to 10, I'll give it a 5 right in the middle somewhere. Um, it has its challenges, but for the most part, once you master it, it's, it's kind of fun. It's just wider transitions than you're probably used to. In fact, I call them, I'd say there's several mid medium transitions. They're not real long and they're not real short. Um, and then the far shot out to the stop plate, I kind of aim low on the stop plate, let the bullet sail, because remember, it's rising as it leaves the barrel at first. If I aim low and the bullet raises up and probably hits the center of the plate. If you aim too high on the stop plate, you sail over the top. So uh, a stage like this, it's also important that your gun is sighted in before you come over here. 
you want to sight your rifle or pistols in whether it's nine millimeter or 22 somewhere between 15 and 18 yards away you probably want to be either center on the plate or maybe just an inch below on the plate at around 18 yards again because the bullet's still rising and when it's going out to the 25 yard targets or the 35 yard targets it'll sail right into the target for you okay two gun terry signing off from okeechobee have a great new year and we'll see you again in the next video real soon take care now see you out at the range <laughs> <laughs>sun here that sun is washing out my dog you want me to give a demonstration terry you might need big steve to come up here and do this uh, you could do the pistol demonstration if you have your pistol <laughs> i don't know if i can see